Hello, welcome back again to the channel. On this video, we are going to discuss a problem from Stephen Roman, Advanced Linear Algebra book, page 83, number 10. So, let tau be a linear transformation from u to v, and sigma is a linear transformation from v to w. Show that the rank of tau sigma is less or equal to the minimum of the rank of tau and the rank of sigma. So first, it is enough to show that the rank of this is smaller than both of the rank of tau and the rank of sigma. Okay, so first we will prove one of the easier inequality. Which one is that? This one is easier. Okay, so first of all, notice that if we apply this tau sigma to u, so, right, then you can see that tau of u, since tau is a linear transformation from u to v, then the image of u under tau is certainly is a subspace of v, right? So it follows that tau sigma u is contained in sigma v. So therefore, the image of tau sigma is contained in the image of sigma. Since rank is the dimension of this vector space, and this, and this rank is the dimension of that space, then it follows that the rank of tau sigma is less or equal to the rank of sigma. Okay, so now we are going to prove the other inequality, which is this one. So let B be a basis of image of tau. And C is all the images of Bi under sigma. Now this sigma can be think of as a map from B to C which maps each of these bi to sigma bi. And certainly this map is subjective, right? Because all elements here is in this form, which tells us that every element in C has a pre-image in B. So since this map is subjective, therefore the cardinality of B is greater or equal to the cardinality of C. So we write down as the cardinality of C is less or equal to the cardinality of B. But the cardinality of B, so remember that B is a basis of image of tau. So the cardinality of B is exactly the rank of tau. Okay, so now in order to prove this statement, it is enough to show that this rank, the rank of tau sigma, is less or equal to the cardinality of C. Take an arbitrary element, little u, in capital U, and then, since B is a basis of this image of tau, then if we apply tau to this u, so that's tau of u, then tau of u will be a linear combination of elements in B. So there exists alpha 1 up to alpha sub n in F and B sub i1 up to B sub i n in B such that this tau of u is a linear combination of elements of finite elements in B. Okay, now if we apply sigma to this tau of u, so we have tau, so sigma tau of u, then by the linearity of the sigma, this element can be written as sigma of alpha j, sigma bij, right? And since this, each of this is an element of C, then this expression is belong to the span of C. So from this 
statement since u is an arbitrary element of capital U it follows that the image of tau sigma is contained in the span of C right now the the dimension of this space is exactly the rank of tau sigma right and the dimension of this is the cardinality of a basis of span C but since C is a spanning set for that space and basis is the minimum spanning set then the cardinality of this basis is certainly smaller or equal to to the cardinality of C but the cardinality of C as we have shown earlier it is less or equal to the rank of tau therefore by the above inequality we have this less or equal to the rank of tau therefore if we read from the top then we conclude that the rank of tau sigma is less or equal to the rank of tau and we are done so that's all for now thank you very much for watching see you again on the next video goodbye for now